Hi, I'm Ben Orford and we're in the knife making workshop today and we thought it would be a good opportunity to give you a few sort of top tips, workshop top tips. So not just if you're into knife making but if you're into DIY, you're into wood turning, just thought it would be a good idea to show you how I've set up my workshop and hopefully you'll find a few ideas there yourself. Now one of the things I wanted to show you today was I came across this problem when I was setting up my workshop I've got lots of different tools, I've got lots of lamps, I've got lots of extractors and it's difficult sometimes to be able to access the on off switches. So I was trying to figure out how to set up, especially the extractors, how to turn them on remotely. Now you can look at various woodworking shops and they've got very expensive remote switches that you can plug on and it will turn on automatically. But it was a lot of money for what it actually did. So I looked online and I actually found another guy with a few YouTube videos in the same sort of situation and what he came across, which was a really good idea and I wanted to show you guys as well, was the simple power saver adapters that you can buy. Now you can buy these in the supermarket, you can buy them in packs of five from Amazon and all it is is these adapters that you design to sort of plug your radio or your TV or anything in your house to turn it on and off so it's not left on standby all the time. So they're designed as a sort of environmental safety thing. Now this is just a simple three pin plug. So you can plug whatever you need to turn on and off remotely into that adapter and then plug that into your normal three pin plug. And then I've got five of those adapters. So I've got five buttons on this little remote that comes with it. And each one of those numbers relates to each one of those adapters. So I've got my lights for my pillar drills, so I've got them all set up on one button, so they all turn on and off when I need it. I've also got my main big extractor set up on number one, so I've got my dust extraction on the drills, so I can turn that on and off when I need to. And I've also got my hoover when I've got an odd bit of dust that I need to suck up, so I can turn those on. And basically anything that I can't access the on-off switch easily, I stick one of those on. Now I've added a little strap so I wear that on my belt and having it on your person the whole time you always turn on the extractor or the lights when you need it you don't just think oh it's too much hassle I'll leave it so for about 20 quid I think it was for five adapters and a little remote really cheap easy way of setting up your workshop so simple things like that really help hopefully that helps you we'll maybe put a little link to where you can buy these from on the uh, description of this video but if you've got any questions or you've got any other ideas that you want to know about how to set up in your workshop then fire us an email through our website and hopefully we'll be able to sort you out. Thanks a lot.